this is where I'm at now. Let's see if it says you are here. No, it doesn't. There's loads of uh, things. I'm on the way down to um, down to a spot down here. And this area is just full of history. And at the minute I'm at Dunnet Ford, Dunnet, the king, the seat of the kings, Lama King. So, you know, this is where I come. And more. So today the area is often viewed as remote, um, but over 1500 years ago it was a crater of Scotland, the springboard of emerging country royalty and royalty who lived here were well connected and in contact with important groups and individuals, sea sailors, ships played a key role, gold, dyes, herbs, wine obtained from different corners of Europe. So So basically you got that bit up there and you got this little lovely spot over here and we'll have a look over here because it's something interesting. But the views are spectacular. Must be able to go in now. Go see what's over here. Like I say, I'm limited at the time. Um, McDonald College. It's a heritage trail. This one. I'm gonna have to leave this for next time. Um, I'm gonna go up there because it's short. Let's see what this is. Um, yeah, you've got low, 11 here, 4 point here. Yeah, so we'll go have a look at up here while I've got time to do it. And then um, we'll move on. It'll be windy up here, so basically all I do is footage. Um, I'll just put uh, titles down underneath because um, you, you'll not want to hear the wind up there so here we go this is a sign tell me about it that's all it looks like from a high end view Like I say, it's going to be windy up there, so I'm not able to uh, record. Okay, let's go. Come to another placard. Just tell me where we are. Tell me where we are. Up there. I'm gonna go up here. So look out for. So I'm gonna go over there first. That's that place. One is over there. Two is over there. 
Um, four is this bit? What's four? Chase's buildings. So there's Chase's buildings around here. Yeah. Um, five. Five is the. That's five. That's right. We up on the top of there. We'll go up there. Uh, three is where the kings were made, so there'll be a stone there. We'll have a look at. We'll have a look at that. Um, four. Where's four? Oh, four. That's where we are now. So we'll have a scramble up there, and we'll go on the top, and then we'll go over to there. More steep climbing by across the seas are going up and coming down. It's normal. Uh, that's where it's one of the things down there, one of the stones down there where that guy is now. Which we'll have a look when we'll come back down. Yeah. And there's the other part there. So we'll climb up. Mine will be windy by all counts, it's windy on the top there. So I'll bring it back on and get up. So this is the well, by all counts, it rose and it lowered with the uh, tide. Oh, Spectacular views. I wonder if this reminds you of somewhere, a rock where you just stand on the edge. I don't think you'll get me standing on the edge of that. But I bet there's a load of photos, people standing on that edge. Right, let's get cracking. I think it's getting on now. Um, it's getting on now. So uh, we'll get on to our next spot. If I find anything interesting on the way down again, I'll stop. Because this area is just full of history. Uh, Mick Tov Sagittarius will love this. Love it. So he does his history on places like this and uh, oh sorry I'm blocking the view trying to protect it from the wind he loves stuff like this and when we're on Aaron 
we are looking at places like this so whew, buddy so then let's get cracking Well, I'm packed up, um, using my Brit stops again, and uh, it's on Kintyre. I'll show you where I am in a minute. Um, let me this. Um, I'm not far from the port for um, Aaron, but uh, I'm a day ahead now. I was a few days ahead due to the weather conditions, so <sighs> you can't help the weather conditions. We just had a downpour there, so that's why I'm in here. It's windy. Um, I'm on the coast, if you can see. That's a ferry port. Um, that's going across. It doesn't tell us on my map, but I'll I'll put it under the like, down here somewhere. Where the ferry port for, um, but yeah. So I'll show you on the map where I am. So I was, where was I? I'm not sure where I was. So I was up in Auburn and um, travelled down this route. As you've seen, I've stopped on various routes on the way down, and I ended up. Coming down to here. Looks disgusting that, doesn't it? Never mind. Um, anyway, this is where I'm stopping. Um, there'll be a ferry coming in before long. Ferry, this because that's a ferry port there. Let's see, you cannot see. Yeah, that's a ferry port over there. As you know, it's raining, so I can't really show you. I put photographs in, so that's where I'm stopping. I'm stopping two nights there, and um, was it Sunday, Monday, Tuesday? I'll travel over to the ferry, uh, get on the island, uh, come up around here, and then start my way around this area up to here. Um, because I know I'm meeting up with Robin Mick and we're uh, doing Goat Fell, sorry, a beach camp, then Goat Fell, depending on the weather, and then we're travelling back up again. That'll be my circular up to where the ferry port is. Uh, we're going on a campsite there. Um, so, yeah. Um, but I'm in the middle, literally, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Nearest shop is uh, 8 Mile. That way, the cafe is uh, closed. There's a cafe. Can't see it. I don't know if you can see it. That's the cafe there behind us. Um, it's a Brit stop. So, kind of complain. Free of charge. Uh, the sun's come out now, and the ferry's in. I'll show you the ferry. Just bear with us a couple of minutes. Yep, there's the ferry there. That's the ferry. So you jump on there, then you go across to the island. On the island again, I'll put the name. I still haven't got the name. Be going over there. Give us some Scottish name. Looks a biggish island like. So. Take your car over, but your caravans are not permitted, or you? you can take a camper and stuff like that. Um, I don't know how much it is. I'll have a look. I've got the thing, so. So, it's chill out time. A couple of few beers. That's my washing. I need to put my washing away. I did that uh, yesterday. I still haven't put it away. Put in these cupboards and that, so. And then underneath where I'm sitting. 
Okay, and that's tea tonight. That's my tea. Uh, Tesco whole grain spe spicy Mexican inspired rice. Um, supposed to be microwaved, but I'm gonna put in a put a bit of water in a tub and then do it like that. And then I'm going to have some chilli con carne and our tractors just come off the ferry over there so yep chill out time I'm going to speak to you soon Well guys, got me old woolly hat on. Not because I'm cold, it's just because I've been out. Um been outside and I've just come back in. Yeah, uh, Monken tire. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. As you've seen in the uh, photographs, sunset was absolutely awesome. Um wanna do a bit run around tomorrow. I'm going to get some whiskey tomorrow. And I'm going to have whiskey instead of lager. And I'll just hope. I'm hoping. I'm praying. That's going to be like this. Again. Tomorrow. Today. Been a good, good day. I've dodged the clouds, uh, the rain, uh, splattering there before. I got in the car, in the camper. Today's been an awesome day. What a boost! You no, know, it's a, was it Sunday today? Yeah, it's Sunday today. And. Uh, Pardon me. Oh, in a few days I've been meeting up with the lads. I'm, not, uh, I'm actually going on a ferry. I'm actually right. When I stopped in Auburn, I was about four days in front of what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, but weather conditions changed a lot of things, like um, a lot of things. Um, so I'm a deer head now, so I'm classed as deer head, because I stopped in Auburn for a few days. Um, I wasn't supposed to be here until Monday, then jump on the island uh, late Tuesday night, have all day Wednesday, Thursday, and meet the lads on Friday. So I'm going to do some runabout, come back here. Um... Uh, meet the lads on Friday <laughs> when I get off the <laughs> when I get off the uh, ferry when I go off the ferry, but I'm gonna wild camp on um, Thursday night, and I'm hopefully where Rob's got his uh, got planned for him and Mick to stop. I'll be straight opposite, so we we'll, like basically flash torches to each other. But like Morse code, do 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 do. Lads, I'm on the island. Basically, I'll get back. So, but no, so relaxed, so relaxed. This is. This is what I've built up all summer because like July, August and then nearly all of September I've just been full belts working seven days a week. And then when you get a holiday, <laughs> when you get like 18 days, it's like, uh, I dread going back home now. I wish I had a bigger van. Um, 
The reason why I wish I had a bigger van is and uh, get dogs in and then I can live my future, you know, in the van with the dogs. Um, doing the dog boarding with, in the van. But I'm just, I'm living the dream. <laughs> living the dream. What's it? What's it, Mick? One life. Live it. But it's living a dream. You know where it's at. It's a living a dream. Right, uh, that's me for the night. I'm not coming back on. What time is it? It's half past quarter eight. Quarter eight. A couple of phone calls to make. Um, both to love my life, my mom and a, a female friend. I'm not telling who she is. <laughs> but yeah. I'm enjoying life. See you tomorrow.